What's up, guys? It's Binary for the Winner, because Binary is an awesome, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Robot Wars Judgment. Last time, we got through becoming the Blue Comet, as it's down there, I can read it. Anyway, in any case, as promised, first puzzle robo. This one gives us an HE radar. Which is nice, I suppose. Oh! It's this one. I remember this one. Uh, victory conditions? IG reaches the targeted area. I was thought... I didn't pay attention. I thought the idea was to kill the... both enemy units. It's not. But defeat conditions... Carlo reaches the targeted area. Turn 2, enemy phase. Allied unit shot down. So, first thing you're gonna need to do... is you're gonna need to use Excel with get or with IG. Now, this is Gale. Gale can hit you if you go here. Don't go here. Go here instead. I think. I forgot if Laser Rifle can take it out. I'm pretty sure it does, though. If it doesn't, I have another hunch. But regardless, Gale gets one hit on you, you're dead. Sorry, I have, still have a bit of a stuffy nose, because it's cold season now. In any case, with that over with... He can't get close to you. And you can use Excel again... To get to the end of the thing. Not that hard, unless you don't misread the, um... You're supposed to do. In any case, we now have an HE radar. Oh, we also have a new booster. Who has any spare slots for stuff? A uh, Lazner could use a booster. Lazner could also use a flight unit, because that's totally what Lazner needs to use. Lazner, a flying unit, needs. Totally. Um. The guy, sniper scope. Um. HE radar. That could be helpful for Kagai. I'll give that to her. Is this Naples OS again? Ooh, crit rates. Nice. And I can, I guess I'll, ooh, give her a flight unit. Um, is that it? The flight unit, I'm gonna have trouble finding something for, because you don't have very, actually, no, I'm giving him the, what am I talking about? I'm giving, I am giving him the flying thing, so everyone here is a flying unit, so I'll hang on to the flight unit. Uh, for variance, since I forgot to set this up, I'm gonna put all the usual back on peoples. Uh, this is Moo. Moo is going to be using swords. This is Kagai. Kagai is going to be using cannons. Now, the people that are forced to deploy in this map are kind of random, in my personal opinion. We have Kira, David... Oh, right, Kira gets to play multiple times here. We have Moo, Kira, Rowan, David, not IG, if I recall correctly, Kagai... Yeah, IG's not required, even though... It, it's weird. Oh, you know what it is? I remember why now. I'm not going to spoil why, but I remember why. In any case, saving... I actually have money now, so I can buy things, but I'm not gonna... We continue. Episode 15. Those feelings, that determination. This is bizarre. Why are there no, mem no memories recorded from that last battle? What happened? Was Ray's system down? Does Lazner have some kind of secret? Secret to everybody, IG. IG, have you calmed down a little? David. I know you want to be alone right now, but are you aware that everybody's worried about you? Also, the Archangel is leaving is entering orb. We'll be leaving the ship soon. Alright. Man, you finally decided to come out of there, huh? Um, IG, you haven't eaten anything, right? I saved some soup for you. Thank you, Anna. Anna's weird. Um, I actually heard i I do know a little bit about, um, SPT Lazner, and from what I understand, Anna is supposed to be the narrator in that show. So, which is why she's sort of just there. Because that's kind of how she was in the show. Thank you, Anna. Glad to see you're, you're out, see you out here, IG. Are you alright? 
I'm fine. Sorry for making all of you worry about me. Aichi's also a main character, which means he has main character powers, such as being attractive to everybody, even if he isn't an attractive character. Honestly, IG. Oh, hello, Ms. Command Commander, Commander Flega. What's the matter? There you are, kid. How you doing? Sorry to ask, Commander, but could you stop calling me kid, please? You're all just a bunch of boys and girls to me. And, I mean, hey, you're also a Gradosian. By the way, we're going to the Orb... The Orb Head Honcho's place to have a talk in a little bit. Would you be up for coming along, too, please? I should not have advanced that. Future Binary will be very confused. And think it's out of sync. Understood. I'll come. Thanks. Dealing with those aliens the bully calls Radom. Zaft stole, and now fights with, the X numbers. On top of that, there's, there's Nergal's warship. The... I started to pronounce that Nergal. Whatever. The case of Mars, and the children returning with it, with this half-breed alien youth, who also brought word about the Gradosian army. It's like it's a crossover video game. Oh wait, it is a crossover video game. And then there are the actions of the Reclaimers. This situation is far worse than I feared. Yes, it is. That's why we told you that, anyway. At least you permitted us to dock. I never would have thought that little lady would... Well, eh. Mr. Flega, this country is beset by problems from every direction. Do you actually think I had time to follow the actions of my foolish daughter? Uh, yeah, excuse me for breaching the subject. I cannot afford to relax. I suspect the Federation is going to try to officially bargain with you. It's probably going to be the case, yes. Perhaps it will work in our favor. The Heliopolis incident ended up s involving some of this nation's children in, with, in the war. That ship and its mobile suits now have a relationship with the inner workings of our country. That said, we have only two. At we have only one at the moment to maintain our neutrality with the Earth Federation and Plant, or rather, with the coordinators. We don't want to antagonize either of the groups, especially since the Earth Sphere has come under siege from by the Gradosians and the Radom. See, he's smart. Unfortunately, we don't have the enough influence to become media mediators between Federation and Plant, but it is our intention to acc accrue enough power to do so. Hmm, alright. Does this mean you aren't planning on completely disregarding the Orphan situation? Of course not! Your information on Orphan and the Reclaimers was very much appreciated. However, I want our request to be regarded as one that came officially from a force belonging to the Federation. If you agree to that, I can resupply the Archangel with anything except the materials reserved for the UEFA at Morgan. That word the binary can't pronounce. Well, that's much appreciated, sir. There is still a price attached. Or I'm sure there's still a price attached. I want all the combat data from the Archangel and the strike. Sorry. Aiji Asuka, along with the SPTs and Longo, are to report to that word the binary can't pronounce for analysis. Finally, I want the strike's coordinator pilot, Kira Yamato, to assist our technical crew. Our country's hopes rest on your allowing this. That's... well... I don't mind, but please, analyze Lesnar only in my presence. As for Grados and the F and the SPTs, I will tell you anything you want to know, to the best of my knowledge. And I'll do everything I can to repay the favor. As little as that may be. In any case, any case, any less would be would would be a disrespect to the sacrifices you made to get here. It may not be much, but we will cooperate. The longbow is under Nurgle's custody, so we can't make any decisions about it. You'll just have to see it for yourself. We consent to giving you the combat data. However, Kuri Yamato isn't part of our regular crew. He's merely a civilian from this country. I have to request that you assist us and talk to him, a and then talk to him afterwards. But Captain, quiet, Natarl. Yet yeah, you tell Natarl. Natarl's a jerk. Fine. I will arrange for the supplies and repairs immediately. Captain. We Captain. That's Rory's voice. Captain, we cannot give them our combat data. This di country is too dangerous. What would you have us do instead? We've protected the Heliopolis citizens this far, civilians this far. Shouldn't that be worth supplies and repairs at the very least? 
They didn't mention it, but I'm sure Zaft is putting a lot of pressure on them. And of course they are. What happened at Heliopolis has dragged Zaft's ruling council into a political quagmire. So, what are we going to do about Kuri Yamato and the strike? In what respect? Are you just going to leave him here? Or are you just going to let him leave? I know what you're trying to ask. Kira isn't a soldier. But without his abilities, the strike is useless. We aren't near friendly territory, and a fight could break out at any time. There's no reason to keep the strike if it's only going to act as a paper tiger. I realize that, Lieutenant, but you're kind of a jerk. Kira Yamato should stay, should stay and assist the ship. It may be a, only a slight chance, but if Zaft attacks us without him, then... It doesn't matter what happens, Lieutenant. That's just... If someone has to be him, has to use him, I'd prefer it be us. That's because you're self-centered. Well, he has the strength we need to win. I don't, won't force him to stay. I'll abide by your decision, Captain, but I'm going to make sure to report this problem once we get back to Alaska. Now, if you don't mind, I'm heading back to the ship. Sheesh, passive-aggressive much. I filed for her to report us in, huh? Truly serious soldier, that girl. Not that I don't understand what she's trying to tell us. Yes, she'll make an excellent officer. Ah, damn it, Commander. What the hell are you trying to pull, Moo? Well, well, hello there, Captain. Commander Flega, I'll have you know that that was a very nearly a, ca a case of sexual harassment. Oh. Oh, he... he oh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, bye. Huh, is that so? What do you think, Com Captain McCormick? Ignore your advance on uh, uh, Miss Ramius. Yeah, Miss Ramius. I can only suggest talking to the boy himself. Ask him what he wants us to do, and decide from there. For the time being, we're staying put. We should take this opportunity to rest a little. Your forces won't perform as well if they should, as they should if their leadership is fatigued. Did you hear that? Gu oh, right. Arthur is the character. Did you hear that? Did Did you guys hear? I guess that kind of makes sense. Did you guys hear that? They're gonna let us leave the ship along with everyone else from Heliopolis. Hooray! We can finally put this behind us. Oh no, a nuclear attack! Just a little while, just a little longer, and I'll be homeward bound. We're late to the party, Arthur. We already contacted our families. Huh? No way. That's cheating. Oh, and since we're not originally from this country, the OSDG has arranged our travel plans and other accommodations. We'll be stuck here for a while, whether we're leaving or not. Anna, don't worry about me. You're safe and back on Earth. That's enough. But... Yeah, don't be shy. I just stay in here, so it's only right for you to go return home, too. Sorry, IG. We were together for so long, and now we're just... It's alright, I understand. You didn't come back to Earth just to face life or death situations on a regular basis, did you? No! Don't leave the party! We need our healer. IG, what, would, what are you going to do now? For now, I will stay here and cooperate with Orb. They turn out to be quite the powerful ally in the face of the Grudosian invasion of Earth, and they're not a bunch of idiots trying to get what they want and not have any without any regard to anybody else. That means we won't be able to see each other anymore, so... Don't do anything reckless, IG. Take care of yourself. Thank you. Katya, what will you do? What will you and the others- Will you and the others be staying too? Yes. Well, at least we know our families are safe, even if they're still on the moon. Now that you mentioned it, I wonder what Kira's going to do. He is a citizen of the Orb, just like the other refugees. Hmm, I wonder what he'll do. A while back, he and Kagai packed up and left for Morgan, that word the binary can't pronounce. He, I'll, I bet he's been pretty busy here, there. I honestly don't remember that word that I can't pronounce coming up this much. And there's Flay. Ruining an otherwise okay moment. There's Sai, who is rightfully pissed. We should head over there, too. Yeah. Longbow was over there not too long ago. We took in Lazner, Baldi, and Babel, too. Oh, I gotcha. They're doing repairs on our SPTs? No, they're sciencing our SPTs. Yeah. What's that sound? The communications booth. I'll answer it. Yes. Yes, they're here. Understood. Sector Elizabeth. Everybody, well done. As a matter of fact, I've, I've been occupied with some serious work on this end, too. 
Doctor, where are you right now? I'm at the Outer Space Development Group HQ. I happened to- I already heard what happened, IG. Sometimes unexpected things happen in life. Time itself can be especially cruel. Yes. We've had good news as well. There's someone here who wants to speak to you. Don't worry, you'll understand soon enough. I'm Heinrich von Freeman of the Outer Space Development Group. He's awesome. He's an awesome character. I like him. He's not a dick. Like most people who are in charge of something are in a lot of anime, actually. You did an excellent job of protecting the children. Allow me to thank you for your efforts. It was nothing. I see. Indeed, you do resemble Kanesuka. There can be no doubt that you are, in, are his son. Huh? You... Knew my father? I did. He was thought to have died in su died some ten odd years ago. The result of an accident in deep space. Imagine my surprise to discover that Grodosian has rescued his ship after all. I'm overjoyed to know that he is alive and well, and that the child who risked his life to warn us of our imminent danger was none other than his son. There are people who knew my dad. I'm happy for you, Aiji. Well, with any luck, this trickle of good fortune will turn into a deluge. It's a good thing I can swim, or else the deluge would have washed me away. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yes, but this is- we're currently in plot territory. So, weird things will be happening. By the way, did the Nadesco make it safely to Earth- Earth- Earth Asia? Space Asia! To Eastern Asia. Oh, and Cypher, are you and the others going to be leaving the Archangel? I'm not sure. Mr. Prospector asked us to cooperate with the Archangel while stationed and at Orb. After that, I don't know. He didn't say any t anything tangible to matter anyway. I don't believe it. You're staying, Flay? Foreign Minister Alist Alistair died, and we've been fighting ever since. I don't know what's going to through her head. She's volunt she volunteered to assist us, so I gave her permission. She broke the news only to us news to us only a short time ago. Play sticking around? No way. I already told you, you may not have seen any conflict while at Heliopolis, but as long as but as long as there is war in the Earth sphere, there is no safe haven for you for any of you. IG and Cypher will have to keep fighting, not to mention everyone on the Nadesco. Not exactly the best situation. Yeah. We'll stay too. I've been thinking about it, and I realize this just isn't just about plant in the Federation. The entire Earth Sphere is in a crisis. After fighting our way here and seeing everything we've seen, I can't just sit back and say it doesn't have anything to do with me. B but aren't we different from them? We're just students. That may be, but the I'm just a student and I'm piloting a giant robot with an awesome lady who's awesome. That may be, but the Archangel is already short-staffed as it is. If we leave the ship, things will get really hopeless. You know he's serious because of the two dashes, which are probably supposed to signify bold. That's true. This sentence is a lie! No, no, actually, no, I'll go with yes. True. But David and the others are going home. That's just the way things are. They did an amazing job surviving thus far. What they went through on Mars is way more painful than anything we've faced. If you still have the will to fight, then fine. We need all the help we can get. However, if you won't, if you don't disembark now, you are are you aware that it will be maybe some time before you get, can request a discharge from the military? Are you sure you want to do this? Staying on the Archangel? Why? Hey, Kira, you're back on the ship. Yeah, I got called here by Commander Flega, but aren't you leaving the ship? Flay was dead set on staying, so we decided we had to do something too. Flay? She didn't tell you? No. It's alright for you to disembark. You suffered up a lot up until now, so... Sai, I... am sorry. I understand. I won't say anything about what you and Flay did. You had a point when you said you weren't you weren't thinking about how you felt. That was our mistake. No, Sai, Flay is in the wrong here, because Flay is a manipulative bitch. This is where we should be. Please don't worry about us, Kira. And thanks a lot for everything. Welcome back, Captain. It's almost time to shift- to change shifts. Right, the repairs will be done soon at this rate. I think they may have even improved a few things in the process. 
We'll, de we'll be departing soon, then. Yes, I'm worried about Sai and the others, but... They're aware of our current situation and have decided to volunteer themselves in our to our cause regardless. We should really be thankful for them, but... Lord Uzumi, what can I do for you? We have a we have an emergency. A Tekaman and someone uh, Radom have appeared. What? He's demanding that you hand over Blade. If you refuse, he'll attack the city. He's only touched the power plant for now, but... Blade. He wants D-Boy. He isn't here, though. I know. That was my reply as well. But it seems there's no room for negotiation. If there were only Radom to deal with, then we could have repelled him. But our army stands no chance against the te at Tekaman. The Nova's Noah says their Brain Power Squadron is on the way, and I'm requesting that you assist, uh, assist us too. Understood. We'll intercept them with the Archangel. Please do. I've already dispatched both Lazner and Longbow from that word the binary can't pronounce. All hands to battle stations. Bridge crew, get up here. Workers, take refuge. Damn, the Strikes OS hasn't been rewritten yet. Well, once it's finished, I'll have to take it out in battle. Sergeant Murdoch, prepare the Sky Grasper for departure. Roger. Not being able to use a strike sure is a pain, huh? Yeah, but there's nothing we can do about it, is there? Um, is Kira? He isn't the pilot of the strike anymore, and he's not coming back. What are you doing here, anyway? Are, don't you have a station to ban? Sorry I'm late. Why are you here, kid? Kira, I... Everyone... Everybody told me, Flay. It's alright. I'm going to flight too. Oh, flight. Well, that's technically true. Fight too. I'll protect you. Kira... Commander, I'm going to remain on the Archangel, and I'm and I'll pilot the strike as well. Are you serious? You really sure about that, kid? I think so. Sorry, Sarge. It's just as you heard. Prepare the strike for launch. Radom beasts. They already disposed of Orb's forces. Hmm. I remember you from before, warship. You brought blade, I take it. Preparing dagger. Da preparing dagger. It tech him in data. I think I did that wrong. The one we faced before? Blade isn't here anymore. I see. In that case, I'll just crush the precious human residential areas. <sighs> that is not a lot of units we get to launch. But it seems like we're gonna have to. Wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Um, now if I'm not mistaken, this is a defend position. This is a first of our defend missions. I mean, I suppose we'll find out soon. But in that case, I'm going to actually move our units close to the back. Scramble. Did we make it in time? Yeah, the city's still in one piece. Strike. Ready and requesting to launch. Huh? Kira? Why are you still here? Kira Yamato, you're volunteering as the strike's pilot. Is that acno acknowledged? Yes. Alright, permission granted. Lieutenant Badguro. He's the one who volunteered. We have no reason to deny him. Sorry, Kira. Kira, I'm counting on you. We all are. Yeah. The Radom intended to, to attack the city. Don't let them get close. Yep. Defense mission. You intend to get in my way once again? Damn eyesores protecting Blade. Fine. I will enjoy seeing you struggle. And he's gone. Um, victory conditions? All enemies annihilated. Defeat conditions? Warship shot down. Radom reached the city's perimeter. Unfortunately, that's gonna have to wait until next time, everybody. Until then.